Hi, and welcome to this section on some advanced techniques that you can use in Postman. In this video, we're going to talk about using Postman for data-driven testing. So data-driven testing is a powerful technique that allows you to quickly and easily run a wide variety of tests. Basically, you can specify a number of inputs and then use those data inputs to drive tests for the same endpoint. So Postman allows for this. Let's go over and see an example of using it in Postman. We do need to make sure, though, that our requests are set up in a way that supports this. So we'll take a look at it using the Star Wars API. So I've got a sample request up here. But for this to work, we're going to need to parameterize this. So we'll call this person ID here. Instead of explicitly sending one, we'll make this a parameter so that we can use our data to drive the changing of this parameter. So now everything is ready for us and set up. So let's go ahead and do it. The first thing we'll do is actually save this. So I'll just do control S to make sure that this is saved. It's an important thing to note because otherwise when we go in and try to use this, it'll be using the old request, not the one that we have here. So we need to always make sure that it's saved before we proceed. So now we can go ahead and try out some data-driven testing. So we'll go to file here and we'll open up a new runner window. And then from here, I'll pick the Star Wars API as the one that we want to run. We'll leave the environment, no environment. For the number of iterations, we'll leave all this stuff for now. What we'll do is go to data and we'll select a file. So what I'm going to choose here is a file for API testing that I've made called people IDs. And this is just a CSV file that has one different ID on each line of it. And so we can do a preview here to take a look at it. We can see that we're gonna, it's automatically found out, oh, you have three lines in this file. So we're gonna iterate three times. And first iteration will use ID one, the second will use two, and the third will use three. It's automatically populated the iterations here for us as well and taking care of everything that way. So essentially what's gonna happen is that for this endpoint that we're looking at, for this get people endpoint, it's going to, do three requests, each one using a different line. So the first request will use ID one and two and three, so on and so on. One thing to note, if we look at the preview here, is that I have labeled this column person ID. Now that column has to match what we have here. So this says person ID. We have to have the same thing matching there, the same label matching for it to pick up and to know what is going on. So we need to make sure that the file that we're using has the same label in it as the parameter that we want it to replace so that Postman knows where to use that parameter. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And you can see it runs through three iterations and all of them pass. And each iteration is using a different number from our file for it. And so just like that, it really is that easy to create a data-driven test in Postman. You can see the power of using this and allowing you to try out many different things very quickly in an API.